Hi all, let's talk about what is a derived column and how to configure derived column transformation. So derived column transformation can be configured with the help of the expressions. So with the help of the expressions. So derived column transformation is the one which helps us to provide a dynamic behavior to the columns in the rows. When I say dynamic behavior, so it help us to change the value of the existing column with the help of the expressions or I can also add a new columns based on the old columns values with the help of the expressions. So derived column is a very important transformation in SSIS. So it can help you to perform all kind of operations with the help of the expressions, the help of the expressions. See what are all the uh, stuff it will help us. So derived column transformation works on row by row. When I say when I apply a expression on a particular column, so it runs for every row in SSIS and I can help us to perform different kind of calculations, aggregations, concatenations, transformations and data conversions for all the columns in the row by row. It works on the row by row. So let me show you one very basic example how to implement a derived column with the help of the expression. Let me go to SQL Server Data Tools and I just uh, configured a source derived column and destination here. So let me show you what is the data I have in the plot file source. Let me double click on it. Let me show you with the help of the preview button. Here I have four columns with three data rows. ID, name, location and gender. Here if you observe very closely, so gender is M, F and M. As an output, I want instead of M, I want a male. Instead of F, I want a female. So this is the behave, dynamic behavior I want to apply in the derived column. So let me go to the derived column configuration. So double click on the derived column. So if you see here, this is a place where we configure a derived column. So derived column name. So the name of the column I am giving as a output column. I am giving as a derived column. Here I have a derived column here. Okay. Here do you want to change the existing value or you want to add a new column. Add a new column. So as discussed derived column help us to add a new column or it also help us to change the old column value. Here I am making as a changing the old column replace gender expression gender equal to equal to M question mark male else female so this is a kind of if condition in the programming language so instead of writing if so i am putting like gender equal to equal to m this if condition part begin part this is kind of begin and male yes part l colon is nothing but a else this is a else part so this is the expression i am writing in the derived column transformation to change the existing column value so once I am done, I will click on OK. So let me show you destination. Destination is easy, like it's a very common. I just configured and it shows only the column headers. Click on OK. So once you are done with the design and development part, let's run the package. Yeah. So let's run the package. Yeah, it took a, a while to run. So once you are done with the run, so let's go to the output and see what is the data you have. If you see here, I have name, ID, name, location and gender, but gender instead of M and F, I am getting male, female and male. So this is how we are going to configure a derived column. So to work with a derived column, so you need expressions. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Keep watching our videos.